So damn new be back. <laughs> got a special guest. We got my boy T H C B J. Yeah, what's up? What's up? What's up? Okay. Alright, so once again <laughs> Ain't it. So explain the, the, the origin behind T A C B J. Like uh, what made you come up with that name? T A C B J stands for the head captain. And really, for the most part, I've done a lot of shit in my life, like basketball, drawing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, music and all. But I feel like I be the head of it. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm the one who pioneers it. Right. You get what I'm saying? Like I I'm the one who goes through it and then trickle it down to my crew, the head, the head captain. Right. The head captain of BJ, T A C B J. Right. And BJ come from my government name. That's you know, if you know, you know. Yeah. That's all I can say. I ain't here for that. <laughs> right, 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 right. Okay. So, fun type of floor. Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. I don't know, I keep fucking it up. It's all good. I got family in Tampa. Shout out to y'all. Yeah. Fort Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, Fort Lauderdale. Okay, okay. Nine five four seven five. And so you've been down to Augusta what, about ten Six. years plus? Yeah, I get the cool twenty, bro. Yeah. Okay, okay. I feel like I'm from here, but I can't forget my roots either, though. Right, right. Who the fuck? I got your break key going. Yeah, yeah. You good? You good? You good? You good? So, um, what school you went to now? When you was uh elementary or just like, like graduating from? Just, just gradually coming up. Um, boy, I moved to Grove Town when I first got here, so I went to Grove Town when it wasn't nothing but dirt roads and trailers. Dirt roads, and dirt roads and trailers. I remember when the first Hardee's was built. The first Hardee's was built. Like yeah. the way this is that how long I done been here. And from there I moved to like over the Riceboro Road to uh Forest Brook Apartments. Okay. And I, I went that. to like uh Forest Hills, Lake Forest Hills and all that kind of shit. And I went to uh Barton Chapel. And I wanna move to Barton Village, shout out to my niggas over there. Then after that I moved to Georgetown. That's when I went to Glen Hill. Shout my niggas over there, and, get, and I, ever since then I graduated from Glen Hills, class of '09. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Saying damn, okay. Mm -hmm. and you said what nothing but dirt roads and roads. Dirt down? roads and trailers. Damn. That, I'm telling you, no rap capery. It's got to be at least about 20 years ago. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it yeah. was a it's long ass time ago. A lot of that shit down there new. Everything is new. Every everything except for the schools. Schools done got renovated. Oh, but, okay. So Grove Town, like when. You, that's mostly like a military town, in a sense, for in Augusta. I would say now. Now. Now it would be okay. like very much so. If you ain't got no money, you can't even go out there. That shit is high as fuck. Exactly. <laughs> it's it, high it, as it, 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 like it's nothing but big ass houses now. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you yeah, right. Yeah, swing that bit. Yeah, it's high as hell over there. It is. Yeah, man. Okay, okay. So graduate from Glen Hill and stuff like that. So, what got you into the music? <coughs> like, uh, let's start from the beginning. What got you into doing music? What got me into doing music? Yeah. Okay, um, this was something that a lot of people don't know about me, but I was actually a poet before I did music. Oh, you're a poet. Like, yeah, I did poetry for a cool six years, like from middle school to like all the way through high school. I ain't started doing music. I got out of uh, uh, high school '09. I ain't started doing music till 2011. You get what I'm saying? And really, I made a poem about my um little partner who had done died, Naquan Henderson. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then I had to find the beat to it. And then I was just like, hey, let me fuck around with this. And then I started fucking around. Let's a couple people here. They told me to keep going. And shit, fast forward to 2020. And I'm still doing it. You feel what I'm saying? And that, that is what it is. You remember the first song? My first song? Oh, man. My first song probably was called, um... Damn. I had a bunch of first songs, though. Like, I could tell you the name of my first mixtape. It was called Smoking, Smoking Session. Smoking Session. Hell yeah, yeah, and that shit was ass. Like, I mean, like, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, as far as quality go, yeah. like, the wordplay and all still was pretty good, pretty good for yeah. a newbie. Yeah, yeah, But yeah, yeah. quality, straight ass. Straight ass. Like, it's still online and shit like that, bro. You can go on SoundCloud and find all that. You can find, really, everything I've done from then to now. A lot of people ask me why I ain't, why I ain't erase it. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I why want... You, why I, do you erase it? I want them to see my growth. That's good. I, I, I want you to see it. Yeah. yeah. Why would you want to delete? So when people be feeling like a, that what makes people like an artist even more. But they can go back and look at your growth mm -hmm. and look at the work of you been doing over years. Let's see how much of that. That show dedication. Mm -hmm. So why would you erase all your dedication away? Hopefully, it'll be inspiration to the next one. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because right. I don't have people tell me to cut my shit off. Back then, you know what I'm saying? Like, boy, what the fuck is this? Cut this shit off. Boy, he ain't talking about nothing. Whole time I am. But, right. my, but my quality ain't talking about nothing. Right. 
Right. So, I mean, I you know, it's constructive criticism. Even though they was being haters, like pure haters. But at the same time, I, I can give a damn about a hater. Anything they saying about me, it's it's somewhat true. Right. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's trash. The music wasn't trash. The quality was trash. Right. So, that's when I started getting serious. And you're going to hear all... I, I built my own studio for, like, four different times trying to perfect my own sound before I start trusting real engineers. You get what I'm saying? Right. That's why I consider myself an artist at this point. I do right. singing and all that shit now. Like, you know, but all that came from back then. Haters and doubters. Right. So, it is what it is. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So would you advise? So would you advise artists? Um, I know you say you had work and, and build your own sound. Do you think? What well, I wouldn't say artists, but do you think it's better for artists to figure out their own sound on their own compared to going working with people where they kind of like make a sound for you in the sense? Yeah, stage? yeah. You know I mean, if, if you got to find somebody to make you a sound, you in the wrong business. Yeah. Just being like, what are you doing this for? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I know my sound is different or um original, more or less, but I get compared to like Andre them, you know what I'm saying? Like or J. Cole vibe or yeah. that's it what I'm doing, that kind of music. Yeah. Which is when I what I normally like to do. I don't like to make all that bang them up, shoot them up shit. Like, right. you know, I might throw a little drug play in there. Right. You know what I'm saying? But that's about it though. I don't really care about all that all that tough shit, bro. Everybody wanna be the toughest nigga. Yeah, yeah. Everybody wanna be the toughest nigga. That's the thing about that's the thing I, I um, realized about music. Music did a whole three sixty because you know <laughs> back then music was more you were more cool to other person selling dope and you were more cool of a person not snitching. Mm -hmm. And you was cooler of a person not biting nobody rhyme or you was cool for a lot of things. Even even the word snake and slime was bad. Yeah, right, right. Now, now we got niggas claiming it. Right. <laughs> so I'm, it was like, I don't know. So when I, it was like, you know, I don't know. I ain't. I'm <laughs> not, I, I guess I, I must not be too plugged in the streets anymore. But Man, it was it's just like stuff you that said, we grew up on. That was it got reversed. Everything. You, you, yes, you 100 percent right. Everything ain't no flip flop. Right. Being real, I ain't even real no more. Right. That's that's. If true. that makes sense, like yeah. okay, a nigga get glorified for goddamn not snitching, whatever, whatever. Doing 10 years for it. Right. But that shit took him away from his kids and everything. Nobody wasn't thinking about that. Right. You digging what I'm saying? So was that really real or was that really dumb? They look at it as really dumb now. Nah, they look at it as really real now. Like, because as soon as he come home from that 10-year bid, yeah. they going to give him anything he want. Like, it, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's the yeah. complete I get, opposite. I get what you're they glorify yeah. Yeah. going to they, they glorify going to jail right. instead of the nigga who has spent his life trying not to go to jail. Right, you dig right, what I'm right, saying? Right. Nigga, the nigga who got a job, taking care of his kids and all that, he lame now. Compared to the nigga who out here serving all the dope and fucking all the bitches, and you feel what I'm saying? Like he, right. that's the most popular nigga right there. Right. Which that's that's the opposite. Back back in the day, niggas got frowned upon for being players. You getting what I'm saying? Nowadays, it just is what it is. We got the women playing. That's true. You know what I'm saying? The woman got their hand in now. So I mean, and they quick to tell you that. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, you, oh, you ain't you ain't never had a bitch like this. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, they quit. Yeah. Oh you are oh you are a dog and ass bitch then. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like whatever. They'll call, they, they'll call themselves a bitch before you will. But when you call them a bitch, it's a problem. Yeah. Now they calling their brothers and cousins and everybody up. But you just called yourself a bitch, right? So and when I use that same shit and, and ping it right back at you, now it's a problem. Now I gotta die. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like that, that's crazy though. I gotta die. That's how they look at it. Cause they ain't gonna stop. Oh, oh yeah, he called me a bitch and he they, they, they gonna add some extra to it. Yeah. He hit me all yeah. the extra shit. I'm like shout out man, watch out, bro. Watch out. But I, but yeah. back to what she was saying though, bro. Everything ain't done switch, bro. Everything done switch. Being real ain't real no more. Being lame is is the new thing to it's do. The new thing. Like snitch nine. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. He got out and did and he broke records. Yep. You getting what I'm saying? Like yep. we shouldn't even been watching that. True. I'm just being real. That's like true. we that, shouldn't even yeah. watched it. He shouldn't even got a hundred views. That's but, true. But exactly. nigga broke what he broke. The fuck? Broke the come on, Instagram. come yeah, on, like, bro. Yeah. Right. I can't wait to Bobby Schmurder get home, man. Shout out to Bobby Schmurder, man. I wonder if they gonna do the mm -hmm. same thing mm -hmm. to him though. Man, Bobby Schmurder probably don't even really do that many numbers, bro. Yeah. Well, he probably do because um, just like me, a lot of street niggas. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying going to jail is cool at all. I'm, I'm looking at the camera and say that. Going to jail is not cool. <laughs> Stay ass in school. You feel what I'm saying? Like, pick up a book, a job, a hobby, a trade. 
do something like that, stay your ass out the way, please. Because jail is not it. I've been in jail twice. You dig know what I'm saying? That ain't it. I ain't never been to prison. I ain't trying to go to prison. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't even trying to go back to jail. Right. You feel me? Like, that shit ain't cool. They, they don't tell you about all these fees you got to pay. They don't tell you about that. Right. A lot of niggas out here making that shit sound cool. You know what I'm saying? No. Nigga, you rich. You can say that. We out here, we living regular life, bro. Right. I'm a regular nigga, bro. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I can't go kill nobody and pay off 10 lawyers right now. I can't right. do that. So right. I got to move wiser. Right. Really got to have a reason to kill this nigga. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Like, nah, bro. Fuck all that stupid shit. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> actually fact. Because if you get, say like if you get caught with a gun, with a gun charge. Yeah, that what, I'm on paper right now with a gun charge. Yeah, it's a, you know. <laughs> But if you had if you had celebrity status money like some Jay Z type, that, money, that shit wouldn't be nothing. That wouldn't be nothing. That's be. So I would still be around here with all the same. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'd be in here right now with a with two ARs sitting right here. You know what I'm saying? If I had the money, I wouldn't worry about it. But I don't, man. I got we got kids and shit out here. You right. feel what I'm saying? Right. Even beside my kids, bro, I got so many nieces and nephews. I'm a great uncle. You get what I'm saying? Like a lot of shit people don't even know, but it shouldn't even matter. I'm just gonna be wiser than my situation every single time. Right. Yeah, what y'all should do. But oh, go ahead, bro. Cause right. I slip. We got down. You know, rambling sometimes. No, you good. No, you good. You good, <laughs> man. Hey, this what it is. We here to talk, man. We here to talk. Big forty two. I had to say that randomly. So the big forty two. Yes, you say that a lot. Yes, sir. What's the meaning behind? Um, forty two is just what we say. I mean, it mean love. No. Love, yeah, that means drive safe. That means be careful. That means see you next time. Call me later. That means all that. Just yeah. forty two. Okay. Like I got, we got this shit ain't in, you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's, it's nothing like 42 Doug. That's that's they the uh they from Detroit. I want to say they got some other thing going on, and that ain't got nothing to do with this. You feel yeah. me? Cause really it's lock life. It's really it's really the name of what we be doing. Lock life. The L O C K L I F E. They all it's an acronym. It's saying for loyalty, obedience, courage, and knowledge. Living in faith every day, and that's what we live by. We live in faith every day. So you know, lock life. 42 nigga, you know what I'm saying? If you live in this lot life, it's 42 to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. But if you ain't, then you know it is what it is. You can't lead everybody, you can't help everybody. Yeah. So, I would tell you, the whole, it's more to it than that, but it's like, you know, yeah, I just yeah. had to keep it short. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got, it. I got, it. I got it. <laughs> You know, you know, I don't want to be, I, I could be here, you, you'd be the first interview you, 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 you had for three hours. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, and they be just talking. Like, I'm actually, telling you. The longest I, yeah, actually, the mm-hmm. longest interview I knew we bet I did was three hours, and that was about Ray Montana. Well, I'm going to match that one. That was Ray Montana. <laughs> it was three hours. It was him and two other people. Key to Mindset. Oh, oh them? Yeah, yeah. Oh, shout out to my boy Solomon. Yeah, I had to break him down. I'm going to say your government name. I had to break him down like four yeah. parts. Yeah, oh. Yeah, they were there. They were there. I don't want to cut y'all, but yeah. shout out to my boy Trip and Lil Quake, too. I ain't never met Quake, so I had to, you know what I'm saying? But Trip gave me a mean ass shout out. I put it on my story oh, yeah, and all. Yeah, 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 he did. <laughs> yeah, he did, man. He did. Good people, good people. Yeah, man. my brother. Good people, man. So, um, the Augusta music. Yes, sir. Let's get on the Augusta music scene. Yeah. All right. So, far as you as an artist, when it comes to Augusta music scene, where do you see yourself in the midst of? Do you see yourself as in the underrated class? Or you see yourself as the in the mix? Are you see are you see yourself bigger than Augusta? Um, shit. I'm talking about just in the Augusta music scene. Everybody, I'm gonna say everybody, all everybody three is bigger than Augusta. What was the first one you said? You underrated. Yeah, I think I'm all three. You feel what I'm saying? You said underrated. In the mix. In the mix. And or just, better than... Just, do you feel like you're better than every Augusta artist down there? No, I ain't better than everybody in Augusta. I'm just better than the city, right. Augusta. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because, like I mean, but... I done did music with everybody who... Well, not everybody. A lot of the people who I wanted to do music with. Right. You feel what I'm saying? And they, they underrated, too. Slept right. on like a motherfucker. Right. But at the same time, we see this post every day. I know everybody see this post every day. It's, it goes off popularity, not talent. Yeah. Right. You get what I'm saying? So that's cool because I've been off the scene for forever, really. I be, I try to stay off the scene. Like, motherfuckers ain't nobody to be seen by, to be real with you. That's a good way. That's a good, <laughs> good reason you say that. Like, what you mean by that? What, being off the scene? Yeah, like, like there's nobody to be seen, seen, by. Be seen by. I mean, bro, like, go if you go to the club, they say a month every weekend. Like every weekend for a month. 
Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You gonna see them same motherfuckers in there, bro. Yeah. yeah. The same yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah, and if you go that second month, every weekend, you gonna see the same motherfuckers, bro. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Go to the mall two, three times a week. Same motherfuckers in there, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, who who cares about their opinion to me? You get what I'm saying? So, once I learned that, I just, I've not seen like five years, something like that. I mean, I, I still be dropping music and doing videos, but as far as people actually getting to see me in person, interacting with me, that shit rare. You got to really be one of my people. Right. Or one of my people who come see me about some people. You getting what I'm saying? Right. You got to be something like that. I don't, I can care less about people seeing me, bro, to be real with you. Like, like okay, I linked up with you last time, right? Mm-hmm. Cool, like. I don't like if I ain't doing it on the camera. I don't even want to be on the camera. Right. You feel what I'm saying? I don't even t- don't even tell nobody I'm here. Right. It's just us in here vibing. We just vibing, right? Who, what's the purpose of you know what I'm saying? Like that. That's too much. I don't, I don't really right. care about all that. Yeah. A lot of people do, and that's where they get trapped at. Yeah. Cause like you end up sacrificing your life for a lot of other people that wouldn't even do the same thing or even think about it. Mm. So I don't even tweak on that right. at all. You mean, if you really my nigga, I know who really my nigga. They still hit me up. They still pull up on me. They still have access to me. Right. But a lot of other people just don't. Right. Because they don't even really want my access. Right. They just want to be in your business. Yeah, right. Basically, they want to have shit to talk about. Right. Because I, I, it ain't all goddamn peaches and roses and shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? So, they only going to be around when it is. Right. But when I'm fucked up, a lot of motherfuckers be gone. Right. This, this being real, gone. But my niggas be still be there. When they fucked up, I still be there. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like I'd rather keep it that that right there, what it is. I done had my heart broke, no homo, by a whole bunch of niggas before. Yeah. You getting what I'm saying? So it, it is what it is. Yeah. I can care less. Females too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's the you know, of course in the in the sense that it's supposed to be in. But I don't even care. Hey, my old lady, we, we, man, we, we be kosher, bro. <laughs> Two kids, six years this year. You know what I'm saying? Out, out the way. You know what I'm saying? Got, got me some money and it's my money. You feel what I'm saying? Right. I'm not really using none of that prop money or my homeboy no money. <laughs> so, you know, so it is, you know, shit, I, life good. I wish it was great, but shit, life good, you know. Yeah. Ain't no complaint. Yeah. Just imagine a life, I was talking to my homeboy earlier, just imagine... The money that everybody can have. This is what would you imagine a world without bills? <laughs> <laughs> everybody did the same thing. Ooh, boy, that shit sounds good. Imagine a world without bills. Just imagine the, the amount of money you spend on bills. That's really what I spend most of my money. Would you think this be? Would you think this world would be a kind of a better place, more peaceful place, or you think it'd be more destruction? Um. When you take away the money, then take away the bill part, like no okay. bills. Okay, no bills. So that means more people have more money to do on leisure stuff, leisure activities, vacations, shopping, different things like that. Because you don't have to worry about a, a, a mortgage. I was about right. to say, so that count rent too? Yeah, all that, no bills. Ooh, ooh. You got no bills. Motherfuckers be everywhere. Mm-hmm. Like that's no, what I'm saying. Nobody. What would you do? You got to think, that's a real good plus, but you always got to understand there's a yin and yang there. Mm-hmm. Right. It's going to be an evil in there. Right. So what I'm <laughs> saying, what type of world would you think it'd be if it wasn't no bills? Oh, man. If I ain't had no bills? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't, because I don't think like the, like the average. No, that's not your way. Just yeah, you if I ain't had no bills? Oh, man, look. Because that, that's a game changer. That's a real game changer. Because yeah. like, think about rich people. Who wouldn't have bills? Yeah. Because we thinking about us yeah. not having bills. Right. So that's crazy. Right. What we I don't can, know, what bro. we can do. See, we hustlers because we, we, we don't have millions of dollars. Yeah, right. We got to go get off. Yeah, but we yeah. know <laughs> if somebody give you 50K and tell you to flip that, oh, you can flip that. Oh, shit. yeah, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> How long you giving me? That's yeah, right. crazy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit. For real. Now, you say uh, tomorrow, boy, I can't do nothing with that. Just being, yeah, real. Yeah, being I, real, I have no logical way to do that. Right. But you be like, uh, I get, I give you a month. Okay. All right. Now we got something to talk about. Mm-hmm. For real, for real. Yeah. It, it, okay. Uh, <laughs> I can do it too. For real. Speech. Plead the fifth. Uh, <laughs> Shingle a ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> Quit like. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but a world without bills. A world without bills. How would you think your world would be? And you, you do your eyes. 
through my eyes, I think the world would be straight, bro. Like, it's amongst me and my people. Because right. we can actually enjoy life. I hope everybody would be able to. Right. But, you know, still going to be that certain type of person who don't make, who don't got what he got. Still going to be robbers. Yeah. Still might be killings. You feel what I'm saying? Right. The world going to be the world. Like, right. you know, I ain't going to say niggas. I ain't going to just put us in there. Like, the motherfuckers just don't care no more. Right. Money or no money, bills, no bills. Right. Like niggas getting stimulus and still niggas out here still killing. Right. Unemployment, niggas is still yeah, killing. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Right. That's damn near the same thing you're saying. Right. With exactly. It's about the same thing. Right. So I'm gonna wait at what's going on now to what you said. And it's gonna be I feel like it's gonna be the same thing. Same but thing. but if it was if I was in that situation that I ain't had no bills. Man, shit, I be straight, bro. For <laughs> real, for real. real. I be, I be bitch straight. Me, my whole family, anybody that fuck with me, everybody gonna be straight. Right, right, right. But that is an unrealistic, unrealistic world. world <laughs> unrealistic. Man, Donald Trump gonna send them stimulus, man. I, I don't even get none of that shit. But I need the motherfuckers to give it to me. <laughs> yeah, you feel right, what I'm saying? Right. So <laughs> even, all right, so. Going by the way the world set up it set up is now, the way everything is now, the coronavirus protesting, the George Floyd killing, the mm -hmm. uh the just basically everything that's been going on. Like what's your thoughts on the way the world set up now? Man, look, I think I mean we uh who that was? Trap? He was on here. I had watched this. He was like, I don't want to be no politician. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, that's bro too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I don't want to be no politician or nothing like that. But shit, the world is it's going to shit, bro. Like, yeah. you see who the president is, bro? Yeah. You seen what they was doing in Wayfair, bro? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, even back to the Kanika Jenkins jam in Chicago when she was in the freezer and all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, man. Nick, like, really... Shit can't really get too much worse unless a motherfucker. We start bombing each other. That's 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 the next worst thing, right. and we already got white folk trying to do it to do and it getting now. slapped on the wrist. Right. Easy. So it's like, shit. I don't I don't know what to expect no more. That's why I stay out the way. Right. Stay out the way with me, my guns, and my niggas. Right. You feel <laughs> what I'm? I'm just, I'm just saying. Stay right. stay out the way. Like it's too much going on, bro. Right. I I stay out the way and still get hit with indirect shit. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? So, you, so you get the ricochets and shit. Yeah, hell right? yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ricochet. And that be the worst. Yeah, he, that yeah, boy just said the fuck out that motherfucker. You don't get the bullet, you get the, the ricochet. Man. I done got hit in my leg <laughs> off a bullet that's supposed to hit somebody else, man. But it's all good, though. You feel what I'm saying? Get what I'm going to do. Hey, Bandage crazy. that motherfucker up, keep heal up, and I'm going to keep it moving. Yeah, keep it moving. That's all I do, man. Right. Live in faith every day. That what life is to me. Life. L I F E. Live in faith every day. And that's what I do. It don't matter what the fuck going on. But the police try to say I was shooting at them and shit last. Right. Yeah, when I boil down, shit. I ain't got the money to get all these lawyers and right. fight this case. Right. They ain't even come to court. Right. You get what I'm saying? And but luckily I don't got no record. Right. That what they got caught lacking at. Right. So they had to dumb that bit down. Yeah. To misdemeanors just to have something on me. Right. And that's the boil down or, or that situation. I think they be some bullshit, man. Okay, I don't yeah, even like the way, like the way the, the justice system how they do their thing. They always hit you with a high ass crime, right? And then, bunch of fines, but high ass crime, and then now you gotta pay or you gotta come up with some shit for them to drop these crimes down. Well, they already know they can drop them down to a lower thing. They really just need to let that shit go because it ain't even that deep. Just right. being real, if okay, we got the whole Black Lives Matter, right? Right. They say. All lives matter, right? right? So, okay, the same motherfucker you arrest, how would you feel if you was the one being arrested? You getting what I'm saying? If all lives really matter. Right. So, all these charges you slapping on him fraudulently, you feeling what I'm saying? Like, it's not the truth. You digging what I'm saying? Right. How would you feel if a motherfucker slapped all them charges on you? If all lives really matter. Just saying. Like, you know, like, I ain't trying to be no politician or nothing, but this is in the mind of THC. You digging what I'm saying? Right. Everybody who hang around me, this is how I normally talk on a daily basis. Like, I'm just comfortable in this chair. Just be real with you. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm, I can talk about a little bit of anything right here. But how would they feel? I know how I, I know how I felt every time they threw... Not have been arrested by nine times, only went in jail twice. 
All the other times was like, well, I been interrogated twice too, nine hours a piece. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, over some shit that ain't had nothing to do with me, just off the way I look, strictly. And we look alike, damn near. Like you, you will be down there, my cousin. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah. Right. Stereo, cause we gonna get stereotyped anyway. Off top, gold teeth, dread, right, everything. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. a, a man who walk without fear. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? You yeah. already the one they want to talk to. You don't fuck them up when you uh, fuck, fuck, fuck up white people when you leave the door. You open the door for them at the store. Hell yeah, yeah, they, they get looking at you like, <laughs> like, like like a ghost or some right. shit. I swear to God, a white person. Like I got manners. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, boy, boy, who? What? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, quit, like man. Look, I'm nice, but don't don't get it twisted. But, but look, white people, just chill out. If y'all watching this, just chill out. Tell your uncle and your auntie, your mama and them, anybody you know who don't like black folk, just tell them to chill out. It ain't even that, it ain't that deep, <laughs> just being real. Go talk to that same person that, that you stereotyping. But that's but you know, like I was telling um, Trap Noise, me and him was talking about, mm -hmm. it's a lot of white people, no, it was me around my time we was talking. It's a lot of white people with complaints now on the strength of they feel like black people are getting more rights now and we're using the black card for everything. So they got a complaint saying that we can't black people you can't say nothing to a black person because we're gonna use a black the race card or we're gonna yell racism. That little case was like that though. When um you you seen the case right when the white girl pulled a gun out. Mm -mm. You 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 had seen that shit right? It was a white lady, right? She supposed to be pregnant or whatever. Mm -hmm. And she was backing out. And got down. I guess it was some black girl. She had them bump one of them on the way out. You get what I'm saying? Granted, she did bump them, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. So the black girl blew up. Automatically blew up on them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. She's racist. The white lady saying she apologized. Right. Trying to get the fuck out the scene. Right. You know what I'm saying? She was standing there and a the black girl just barking at her. Barking at her. She's racist. She's racist. I'm like, like I'm just looking at it like, bro, what the fuck is this, bro? Like, right. you really making, now she making black folk look bad. Like, you get yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like using so, she, she done hopped in her car and shit, hung her hub, and they trying to back out. The one on run behind the car, though, get bumped a little bit. You get what I'm saying? So, the white lady get back out the car with her fire. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Pulled the fire on her. She was like, look, back up, go. You get what I'm saying? That's all she's saying is go. She ain't her finger on the side of the gun. She not on the trigger. You get what I'm saying? It's on the side. It, anybody who know gun safe to know that. Right. So she telling her go, go. They still don't want to go. Calling her racist and all this in her face. You know what I'm saying? More little story. Anybody get shot? Nothing like that. But black folk try to pull the black card. You get what I'm saying? At the wrong time. Because right. really, that that lady bumps you. She turned around. She said, Oh, I didn't know I bumped you. Yeah. I apologize. Black girl still calling her a racist, just throwing it out there, following the lady around, yeah. all this shit. It's like that make us look bad. Right. So, even though the black, you know, the blackness doing the thing right now, we still got some of us that's gonna abuse it. Same yeah. thing, same way with white people. Like all white folk ain't racist, right. but the ones who are make all of them look bad. Right. So you know, it's a collective thing at this right. point. Right. Like, all Mexican people don't really work that hard. You getting what I'm saying? <laughs> just, I'm just being real, though. That's but the ones that do make all the motherfuckers look good, though. Exactly. Hey. Any Mexican you meet, you just know for a fact you got a nigga a six pack hey, and $200. That nigga in the game. You, cool. <laughs> I told him, hey, this one guy I used to work with uh, when I worked at Kimberly Clark. This motherfucker ate through, ate through his, he worked through his lunch. Mm. Eating and working at the same damn time. Man, look, the Mexican hard working, bro. Hell yeah. Shout out to my niggas, my Mexican niggas who I be knowing. <laughs> they put in some I ain't gonna say no name. They put in some work, man. Hell yeah. That's why I fuck with them, though. And and they'll fuck with you. They'll swing on nigga for you and all, but right, If they fuck with you, they fuck with you. Just like uh, Haitians. Yeah. You know, I'm from Florida. We from deep south. Fort Lauderdale, you know, right there by Miami or whatever. Yeah. Man, look, Haitians, Cubans, all them, boy, Jamaicans, all that. Them boys fuck with you, they fuck with you. Yeah. They shoot a nigga, kill a nigga, and all. And they for real, for real about that shit, the flow. Body. That's what we call it. That oh, nigga, yeah. they'll body. Oh, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> or or shout it, body. That means shit free. Whatever, whatever. But that's old terminology, though. They probably done switched that shit up by now. Yeah, yeah. Them, nigga, right. them niggas so clever. But go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But in those areas, you want to make sure that you walk careful.
in certain areas. Like Big at, everywhere, shit. To be honest with you, yeah. you, you could be in a white neighborhood and then, like, it's, it's oh, man, look, it's, it's niggas everywhere, put it to you that way. It might be a white neighborhood with probably two white people who live in the whole neighborhood. Right. Everything else black. You might still be in that neighborhood thinking it's cool because they big houses. Right. Uh-uh. Them boys still hungry. Right. That mortgage costs a little more. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And you look like a lick. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Do not sleep on Florida. Chuck Corbin told me about you. Yeah, yeah, that's my boy. Yeah, that's he, what, too. he been yeah. told me to uh, hit you up, uh, to link up with you and stuff like that. Because I was talking about that movie that I was trying to do that I asked you about last time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He wanted to tell me about you. He told me that you're real good people and stuff like that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nothing less than. How you want to bump into Chuck? Man, I went to motherfucking middle school and high school. Man, me and we graduated the same school. Really? Yeah, yeah. I ain't know I, that. Hey, yeah, yeah, he be at my high. Y'all, Chuck yeah. 42, man. Shout out yeah. to Chuck, man. Super Chuck. Yeah. I ain't inside. Yeah. Super Chuck. Yeah, yeah, put that super in front of that. Yeah. I ain't gonna put his government in there, but you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> 42, my nigga. That's my dog, though. He, like, that's. He worked just as hard as you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know how hard you work, because I ain't really seen everything behind the scene. Mm-hmm. But I know you got the whole Augusta, um, the Love and Hip Hop Augusta parody jam, right? Mm hmm. You got down, drop the Mama Jones, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. You doing these. Mm-hmm. You got a little rap jam you be doing too. I had done seen earlier. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. See, I got to tap in about that. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, that's just only what I know. Yeah. That's, you that's feeling what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, that's just a couple elements. Exactly, exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. But you work how he work. Y'all, yeah. y'all don't think like this. Y'all bust that bitch out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Y'all body in the box, but y'all walk around with the box on you. You, feel <laughs> you? you, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all, y'all make a way, basically. Y'all don't just stay there in that box. Right. Y'all move the box. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's why I fuck with y'all. Yeah. I've been, I've been talking to him about you. Yeah, he told me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he told me. He then said we supposed to be like, you know how to link up with you or whatever. We like-minded. Yeah. For like real, for real. Like, I got a bunch of ideas, but my life is fucked up, so it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> you think that what stops a lot of people from like actually, um, cause it's like, you ever been around, okay, you ever been in a situation, I know you might feel this situation, you feel the situation where it's like, you might come across someone that does something that you want to do, or something that you would mind doing, and you might have the knowledge to make it pop. Right, or right. you might have the knowledge to make it go to the next level, but right. just because you're not doing it, or you don't have the tools to do it, they don't look at you as a person to listen to. Right, right, right. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, I agree with that shit. Like, 1,000%. Yeah, yeah. Just, so it's like, just because I don't mm-hmm. have it, doesn't mean I don't know what I'm talking about or I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I ain't got a studio, but I was an engineer about four times. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, so. Yeah. I might get to saying something, nigga, be like, oh, nigga, who is you? You just a rapper. Mm-hmm. Like, nigga, all right, shit, whatever. <laughs> just, just, being, just saying, like, I'm a very intelligent brother. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, listen to me if you want to, don't if you want to. I give everybody their own scissors. You feel what I'm saying? You really want to fuck with me and, and link with me, then you got ample opportunity to do so. Right. But I can spot out if you bullshit. Right. And that's when you ain't got to go. What's the what you think is the deal with when it comes to people working with each other down in small counties, small towns and stuff like people that do music or people that do any other type of work? Why you think when it comes to black people mm-hmm. that it's so far hard for us to even connect and work with each other, and actually have a mutual relationship on business? Hey, that's a good question. I already think it's egos though, because it go all the way back to money. Right. You feeling what I'm saying? Like, okay, say we are trying to invest in something, right? You got 10 bands. He got 10. He got 10. I might come to the table with two. You ain't going to take my two that serious. But I might have the best ideas. Yeah. You getting what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but it's yeah, but they yeah. ego because they got more money. They, more they, money. they not going to even listen yeah, to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a good way to put Even it. with the music. Like, the same thing with the go back to the music, bro. It's the exact, same exact thing. They might feel like his video did more views than yours. You know what I'm saying, and, but that don't mean my my shit ain't hard. You get what okay, I'm saying? I mean, my idea wasn't good. Yeah, right, right. Like I'm trying. I got an idea for me and you. You get what I'm saying? But you don't want to listen to me because your video did whatever, whatever. But you still right here. You ain't get paid off that video or nothing. Right. That's your ego. Right. That's your rap ego. You right. get what I'm saying? And that's what fuck niggas up in small cities. 
Yeah. In big cities, niggas don't even really niggas help e- in yeah. Atlanta. Niggas help each other. Like, you know what I'm saying? Other. Yeah, they help each niggas other. Niggas in Augusta, it's like only a small group. Like, okay, if a nigga don't know you or his people don't know you, he ain't fucking with you. Right. Simple as that. Right. Like it. It is what it is. Like right. niggas ain't even giving niggas the genuine listen no more. Yes, yes, true. I might share something right now. Hey, press play right quick for ten seconds. Ten seconds. You gonna be on that same app for more than tw- for more than ten seconds. Right. All it take, right quick, ten seconds. Press play. Let me know what you know. what I'm saying, unheard of. You know what I'm saying. Like, you ain't heard from them since. Right. Like I, I even with the email and shit. Like I be trying to goddamn send little emails out. And look, you know what I'm saying. Whatever, whatever. Hey, bro, check this out. Let me know what you think about it. Right. You know what I'm saying. I probably ain't heard from them niggas in about a week. And all it took was it's a good it's good music. Yeah. I do what I'm saying. But you ain't even give a nigga a chance. But you over there bumping little baby and them shit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I you over there bumping whoever, whoever shit. Right. Nigga who you don't know. But you but you been knowing me. What the fuck going on with that? You know what I'm saying? Like you know me personally, but you won't even pay five ten to come see me. Right. Or learn my song. Right. But you learning all this shit the first day it dropped. Yeah. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like how much sense do that make? You making them, you making them hot. You can make, you can make me hot the same way. People don't understand from that's promotion. They don't understand that when when you, but when if you if you got a homie that do music, Mm -hmm. and if if you pulling up and you bump a little baby, but your partner doing music, are you are you you say little baby, you say uh, the baby slogan on your post. Everything that you do that's coming from another artist is promotion for them. Right. Same way you're doing it for them, you can do that for your partner. And it's that simple. Simple. But they don't... Too simple-minded. Like, right, we in a small city. That's what we were just talking about, right? Yeah. Egos. They yeah, right, listen to what they people them listening to. Right. All it takes is for you to put your people in them on. Right. That's all it takes. Literally. That's all it takes. Right. But you're going to put your people in them on to your favorite artist and and making them richer. They ain't doing shit for you. No sweet steak, no nothing. nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga ain't nigga ain't buying you no grocery or nothing. But whole time, if I see how hard you going for me, I might got down actually buy you some groceries, some shit. Uh, I'm gonna look, look out for you. I'm gonna look out for you. You feel right. what I'm saying? Right. But whatever though, right. that's all I can say. Whatever. Right. Augusta. Right. <laughs> but shit. All right. Before we slide off a of newbie, Batman, is uh, any love you want to shout out? Man, you already know my boy got down trip. My boy Lou. My boy got down trap. Man, I'll be here all day. My whole 42. Shout out that boy Two Cold. Shout out Young Quan. You get what I'm saying? What it is? The real me. August 5th. Y'all go get that motherfucker. Um, shit, shout out my boy Jay Paul too. You know, the Demi God. Shout out my boy Chuck in particular. Who was just talking about you, buddy. Mm-hmm. Shout out my old lady. Shout out my mama. Shout out my nieces. Everybody. He already know how that shit go. Anybody that fuck with me though, to be real with you. And rest peace, my nigga Fi. Rest in peace, my nigga Bookie. You feel what I'm saying? And that, that about it, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How can they find you on social media? Uh, go to your Google search bar. Type in T H C all capital letters B double E apostrophe J A Y, and I guarantee you gonna you gonna find all shit I was talking about, like from back then to right now to what I'm finna drop to et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Make sure y'all hit that motherfucker subscribe. Either on well, shit, I ain't gonna say either on. On both of them motherfuckers. J Paul and me. You feel what I'm saying? I got like 20 videos on YouTube. Eat that up.